Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. For those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always double salute. And if you get any value out of this video, would you give us that thumbs up and share and even comment. The reason is we need the algorithm to pick up to show more of our videos and everything and if you find value in it help us out now that being said we're talking about Amazon business credit cards today but we're not just talking about any Amazon business credit card we're talking about the Amazon American Express excuse me the Amazon American Express prime business credit card now there are two ways for you to actually get this card for those of you that just want to go off of your EIN your tax ID number then what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to have at least five or more net 30s all right so in terms of having those five or more net 30s this is what I would suggest you do one since you're dealing with American Express I would suggest you possibly open up American Express business checking account okay that would be the first thing now here's another tip that's going to help you qualify for this American Express business credit card with just your EIN all right once you open up that business uh, checking account I would encourage you to do daily or weekly deposits this is going to help you with your business bank rating now understanding that with American Express they report to the small business financial exchange all right but with the Amazon American Express they report to Experian Equifax and Dun and Bradstreet all right so that way you have an understanding of why you may want this card because it can be beneficial to you now in terms of net 30s like I said you have to have at least five or more net 30s so some of the net 30s that I may suggest that you do and there's a reason is because with these net 30s they're going to help you build up your business credit much faster all right so the first one I would say nav now with NAV, again, they offer business credit programs, but also they give you your business credit scores as well with Experian, Equifax, Dunn, and Bradstreet. Plus they give you your Experian credit file. So I think they use Vantage score, all right? Now, 90% of the banks, you have to understand that 90% of the banks, when pulling your credit, they use a FICO score, FICO 8 score for most of the major banks. So so that you understand especially like with American Express they use FICO 8 alright now that being said with NAV they're going to report to Dun & Bradstreet Equifax and Experian then you have another company eCredible now with eCredible this will help you age your business as well because what it does it will allow you to use uh, subscriptions telephone bills utility bills for your business okay so if you have a home-based business this may be a great option to help you build up your business credit using eCredible now with eCredible they report to Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, Experian, CreditSafe and Ansonia alright now that being said you also have another one which is Wise Business Plan now here's the thing about it with Wise Business Plan they do detailed business plans for any type of business right um, especially if you are an individual that's trying to get funding from the SBA or you're trying to get a grant 90% of the time they're going to want you to have a business plan okay and so that's the reason some people may use WISE and another thing about WISE is they report to Equifax, Experian, Dun & Bradstreet and Credit Safe alright so reason that I'm telling you this and again maybe some of you all missed the most important factor is opening up the right business account okay so that business account is so key in order to help you get qualified for funding so that's the reason I would tell you if you're trying to go after the Amazon American Express prime business you don't have to do it but I would suggest you do it is to open up American Express business checking account okay 
um, like I said, the more deposits helps build up your business bank rate. So that's the reason that I'm telling you that. Now back to the net 30s that you may want to consider in terms of uh, helping you build up your business credit file. Uh, you have uh, SUMA office supplies. So SUMA office supplies, they report to Experian and Equifax. Then one more that I'm going to throw in here and that's Quill. Okay, and the reason I'm throwing Quill in here, although they only report to Dunn and Bradstreet, the reason is with Quill, they have a mechanism, so if you have to bootstrap your business, they do have a financial mechanism in it to actually help you raise capital or use that account to uh, raise capital, okay? Now, I know some of you all may not have heard of that, some people don't tell that, but it, it is a way for you to use your Quill account to help raise, I wouldn't say a whole lot of money, but a small amount of money. Quill accounts can definitely help you do that, all right? Now, that's number one in terms of helping you, all right? Um, a lot of people, they, they're so focused. Now, hear me out. A lot of people, because they're so focused on a Paydex score, a Dunn's number and stuff, you have to remember 90% of the banks, they're not looking at a Dunn's number. They're not looking at a Paydex score in order to help you get funding though. Alright? But that's the long way to do it. My thing is I'd rather build a relationship with that financial institution by making deposits and stuff like that. So that builds up my business bank rating uh, much faster than constantly having to invest in net 30s. Alright? Now like I said, some people are like, well what about Granger, Seeding, and Uline? The thing about it is those are okay accounts, but I'm trying to get you further to your goal, or excuse me, closer to your goal in order to help you raise the maximum amount of funding, all right, especially if you're trying to avoid uh, using your social. That being said, if you're an individual that has established credit at least a 670 or higher, you may qualify for the American Express Platinum business card as well okay now understanding with uh, American Express as I stated they pull from TransUnion they pull from Equal excuse me they pull from TransUnion and they pull from Experian and they pull your FICO 8 so if you're trying to do it the Express way yes you can do it but here's the thing about it with the American Express prime business checking card alright you have to have a prime account now the good thing about it when you have America when you have a Amazon Prime business account um, and then you apply for the American Express business credit card what they will do you get like a hundred and fifty dollar uh, Amazon Prime gift card or something like that right but at the same time uh, you being an individual uh, with your business and stuff and one way to actually work the system in your favor say that you're trying to start your business and you're trying to get inventory and stuff now now you're able to build a better relationship with Amazon because you have the Amazon American Express Prime card plus you're able to possibly get uh, six months or late or six months or down the line or something like that you possibly able to get their Amazon line of credit which I'll talk about in another video but the thing about it I wanted to tell you that there are two ways for you to get the Amazon American Express business uh, prime card so that way now you know that I don't just have to have all these net 30s I can actually just boost my credit score up to 670 or higher and apply but you do have to have an Amazon prime account in order to do that all right, so this is Houston with three-way funding. If you have any questions about business credit funding, uh, personal credit funding, click the link in the description, schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.